Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. I wish I had shorts. It's almost the beginning of November, and it must be 21, 22 degrees. 17 meters, and that's hair under, by five meters, and that's hair under. But the most beautiful swimming pool behind me is the most exquisite house. And I hope you have drinks and nibbles because this is going to blow your socks off. English expression. It is gorgeous. There is not one thing that I'm going to say to you today, basically, which doesn't show... Oh, dragonfly. Gorgeous. <laughs> which doesn't typify Italian property. We are in Cortona. We are 10 minutes there. Bramasole, under the Tuscan sun. It's just there, I can see it in my view. It is the most outstanding Italian property. Are you ready? I keep repeating myself and I'm sorry, but <laughs> there's gonna be quite a few oohs and ahs today. Let's go. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the facade of the house and the owners didn't want to have it replastered. And I think that they've made the right choice because the external walls are, are just stunningly beautiful. We're going to get closer to them in a minute. And the sun's just popped in, but I want to try to give you a panoramic view of this amazing garden. It really is just phenomenal. Look at all the original walls. Now, this was part of the Tamazi estate, which is a noble family. And this property has only changed hands twice in 500 years. Can you believe it? I just, I really can't believe it. Everything about it is a dream. I mean, it really has. It's got, it's got abundance of olives and uh, the owners have their friends arriving this weekend for the olive harvest. It's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Now the center section of this building used to be a tower and then the other parts were built on at a later stage. The building dates back to the 17th century and the patina on the outside uh, you just, you're absolutely speechless. I want to get up because I want to just show you some of this detail. It's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Now the sun is going in and out and I'm going to get to the top and then show you the view and the garden area at the front of the property. Just going to get a bit of flare into the sun as we move forward slowly. Uh, the pool is just in such an ideal position. Not too far away from the house, but far enough. Now, if I pull around here, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. And what a far reaching view this is. The sun's gonna pop in and out. And in the distance, I can see Montable Channel. And I've been told that you can see on a good day, Montalcino. And the vista must be 60 miles. Really, it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now I'm just gonna pull around so we come round to the other side of the property. And then I've got some really wonderful treats for you. We're gonna save going into a minute because I want to show you the outside buildings because I think they're really important. Now, the Tomasi family, or a member of the family, um, used to be the governor of the Knight's Cross in Malta, and that is their crest as we peel up. And above that is a ceramic, which I've been told really should be in a museum, of the Madonna and the Seven Sorrows. Now I'm, she looks like she's holding Oh, it's two, four, four, six, seven swords, but, uh, it, it, I mean, how clever have the owners been to just seal those walls and keep them just the way they are? And, you know, a couple of you might say to me, well, 
what about uh, water infiltration? Well, again, I've mentioned this before. I mean, these walls are about a meter thick, but really, you know, do you really want to actually plaster them? No, no, I will be calling the design police immediately. All right, let's just pop down here and I can show you a couple of other just unbelievable things. Now, the property comes with a really nice garage. It has electric gates. I'm going to give you further information at the end of the tour and I will be giving you the price. Now, there is a possibility with a planning application that so you could turn this garage into secondary accommodation. The house has four bedrooms and four bathrooms en suite and it also has a cloakroom downstairs. And oh, what are we doing, Nick? <laughs> right, well, we're going to do this first. This used to be a water tower, and one of the huge benefits that this property has, it has an abundance of water and a 100 meter well. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, when um, I was walking along the sides of the pool, all the grass is incredibly lush, and that's because they have an abundance of water. Now, can you see, I don't know whether I can show you this. Can you see, if I look up, there are holes in that semicircle facade at the top. And that would have had an indicator to tell you how full the water tower is. It's no longer a water tower. It's basically an extra room and would make the most amazing hide and seek place on earth. Now, for you uh, kind people who have watched my videos, you know that I love trees and this tree right here, and look at the bark, and look at the trunk, and if I pull up, is over 300 years old. Oh, I feel like crying. It's just unbelievable. In fact, oh, I think I'm just going to give it a little hug. Oh, and if I, as I did that, the wind started blowing. Oh, if you're with somebody watching this video, give them a little hug. Oh, that is just beautiful. Right, on with the tour. Look, there's it's just a, just an incredible incredible pine tree as well look at the thickness of that and it goes up to the water tower right we're going to go inside and have a look at the water tower first and then i have a, a special surprise for you right so we're back at this very neat log area isn't that beautiful and then we've got this beautiful door now obviously this has been changed uh, i'm just going to get in here and they cleverly built a staircase going in. Now, there's lots of stuff in here, but and I think that basically, I'm not quite sure whether we're gonna go all the way up because there's just so much to see, but it goes up to another level. Let's see if I can get up there. Yeah, just go, all right, okay, okay mate. Just gotta see if I can get up. Oh, oh, I just want to show you this. Oh. Oh, he's got a little room upstairs. Let me see if I can get up. Oh, it's had a new roof put on it as well. Oh, what a place for children. Oh, what a place for adults. Oh, forget the children. Wow. Oh, it's just wonderful, isn't it? So it really is. And they've done a nice job with those stairs as well. I just... It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Look, look at the back of that door. Look, this would have been your lock. It's actually fixed there now, but that would have come up and down and you would have been able to lock yourself in. Just gonna close that door for a sec. I can't get over that tree. Oh. They had a tree surgeon actually about uh, a couple of years ago that came and had to cut a couple of huge branches of it as well. Now, as we come down through the private garden, and I'm going to tell you a story. 
the owners found themselves here in COVID and uh, the gentleman of the house was in the garden and he thought he had found a badger hole. So he started to investigate and then suddenly he came across a lintel and I'm going to show you that as we come down these stairs. Hang on a minute Nick, take your time. Right, and so he found this under the earth and so he dug down and he got to here and then he realized that basically there was a supporting wall and then he went a little bit further ah, I mean I would have <laughs> I just would have been beside myself and then what happened is that basically they got a couple of guys and they came up and they started digging and then they started digging and they dug some more and they found a passageway and then they started to continue to dig. And as they went further and further underground, they didn't know what they were going to find. You know, whether it was an Etruscan tomb, you know, whatever it was, but when they got to the end under the tower, they actually found another room. Can you believe that? I just think it's the most incredible thing ever. And they have turned that into their wine cellar. Now, this probably dates back to the 15th century. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I had the money, I would... Uh, I would buy the house just for this. It is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And nobody really knows the history. What a wonderful space, honestly. Oh, it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I love the fact you can take your coat off. <laughs> All right. Yeah, beautiful little inky dinky LED lights going down. Uh, look as we come down this. Now they've built these two supporting walls just in case, but if I, I think the only way I can do this is that I come down on the floor and then I lift up. So bear with me for a second. I look at these stones. I mean, they are all hand cut. Oh, it's going to be a bit bright, but you know, you can see them, can't you? I just... I just, you know, I mean, what can I say? I'm, I'm literally, I'm, it's not, which is unlike me. I'm, I'm lost for words. It's, it's a dream. It's every man's dream to find a cave. <laughs> it is the ultimate man cave of all times. Now, as we come back out again and the camera will adjust, I'm going to come up these stairs. Cleverly, they put a nice metal railing to pull yourself out of a heavy Sasakaya drinking session. Look at that. Oh. Oh, it's a dream, isn't it? It really is just a dream. Okay, I'm just going to walk back to the house. You are only 10 minutes away from the center of Cortona. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's, oh, can you see those cypresses in the distance? I mean, they must be at least a couple of hundred years old. Right. Sun's popped in behind a cloud, but that's okay because we are going to go inside and tour this incredible property. Oh, I thought you quite like this. I pull across. Now that, which is staying in the house, is a Venetian bath. And they purchased that to turn it into a fountain and unfortunately that didn't work out, but yeah. 
I am beautiful. Really, it's just stunning. Okay. Are you ready? As we go in through the front door and the camera adjusts, you are presented with this beautiful entrance hall. And if I pull the camera down, you will see that there are incredible 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters marble reclaimed flooring. Now we are gonna go into the main living room. And again, what they've done is to lift up the other tiles. Um, they had been replaced at some stage um, and then replaced them again with these incredible, again, <laughs> architectural salvage square terracotta tiles. I just need to pull up because I need to show you this living room. It's beautiful and quiet. Isn't that gorgeous? That is really beautiful. Lovely style. Lovely eclectic mix of objects. I especially love this lamp. If you see this lamp here, the shade is made of porcupine quills. I'm going to have to make one of those myself. I have to find a porcupine first. <laughs> Look at the fireplace. And I've been told it's perfect. Now I'm going to get back to the uh, end of the room and then I'm going to swing around and show you the reverse view. Yeah, a bit quicker. No, it's stunning, isn't it? It really is. And what's so nice about it is basically it's, you know, all the ground floor is for, you know, living, cooking, entertaining. Hmm. Now, if I come up, and show you the ceiling, you will see that basically that's been painted and then slightly rubbed to give this effect. And I think it works really well. This building is facing due south or slightly southwest, and you will have the most incredible sunsets over Tuscany. That's amazing. Just beautiful. Now downstairs on this floor, there is a cloakroom. I'm just gonna show you that now. Now this property can be purchased with virtually all the furniture. Yeah, it's just in there, it's a little toilet. Obviously with a toilet seat down and a very nice sink. I like the dragons. And someone's gonna tell me exactly what they are. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to your comment. Then we come into the kitchen. Um, and I've spoken to the lady of the house and she has told me that she wanted a kitchen because th if, as this is a holiday home that was beautiful, functional, and could be beaten up. <laughs> I mean, it's not a great idea, really. You know, you're not worrying too much about your kitchen. All right, look at the sink. It's got everything that you need. 
you know, lovely dishwasher, lovely sink, lovely hob, big cooker, perfect. Extractor fan, wonderful. And then moving on into what is the utility boot room. And laundry. And you've got washing machine, tumble dryer, sink, loads of closets. And a great big double refrigerator with ice and cold water and their own olive oil. Now I'm gonna just swing the camera around and just take you out this way because I think it's important for you to see the car parking area, which is just above. They have gas, central heating, air conditioning, and there's a gas tank which is further filled, 1,600 litres of gas. The immediate area is all completely fenced. Right, let's get back in and let's get upstairs and have a look at the rest of the property. Oh, I haven't shown you this and I think this is this is great. I'm just going to come around and show you that. Now look. They had these windows handmade. But look at the arch. And they've done a really nice job on the pointing as well because they've used um, a colour in the cement. And uh, it's just gorgeous. And look at that for your view every morning. Stunning. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is one of the nicest properties, which I think is on the Italian real estate market at this moment in time. Like all the copper pots, especially like the lobster. Right, back into the hallway. Oh, look at the light coming through. And then we're going to go up the stairs. Now upstairs you have four bedrooms and they are all en suite. Travertine tread as we go up. I'm just gonna show you that. And it's been so beautifully maintained. It really has. Now they do rent this property in its entirety. And if you would like further information about that, then please just send us a email, which you can find in the description. Bedroom one. <laughs> Bathroom en suite. Very nice shower. Travertine on the walls, toilet, lovely sink, lovely window, towel well, no BD. Let me just come across here. That oh, was a dream. It really is. Yeah. Hand towels and towels at the side of the bed. I mean, look at that, really. Now that's just the top of the stairs. But you've got this lovely little seat that you can sit out and watch the world go by. And that's interesting because where those books are on the right hand side, that would have been at one point, another door leading into another room. So fascinating, isn't it? I can see controls for the air conditioning and I can see controls for the thermostats as well. Back into the hallway. We 
come down the hall and then we go into the next bedroom and this is the smaller of the four bedrooms again beautifully presented fly screens on the windows yeah it's a double but it's just pushed against one wall it'd be absolutely perfect for kids or teenagers just come across here I'm not going to open that window because I'm not going to struggle with the uh, with the fly, fly screen right now and then you come into bathroom number two which is en suite lovely colour travertine shower cut travertine sink look at this Isn't that beautiful? And this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So if you've got, you know, a house full of people and uh, the cloakroom is occupied downstairs, you could come into this bathroom from the hallway, which I think is a, an excellent idea. Now back into the hallway now, and we are going to go along the corridor into the master bedroom. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's stunning, isn't it? Really. I expect this room is very... Uh, cool you've got that beautiful tree outside um, that's going to give you afternoon shade and also that stunning pine tree as well just going to pull up and show you the ceiling and that again has had the same treatment as downstairs and i really do like it you know in certain locations and this is one of them it really throws beautiful light around the room lovely doors really that's what you want to see in the house I mean look at them it's beautiful coming into the bathroom and you've got again travertine lovely toilet nice bath where you could sit and have a view over the Tuscan countryside and then two very nice cut stone sinks phenomenal right just going to give you the return speed up a little bit so we can get back into the hallway and get up onto bedroom number four air conditioning in this room as well and as i mentioned air conditioning in all the bedrooms upstairs now as we come down back into the hallway it really is jolly lovely and then we've got a staircase leading up Now, this one has terracotta flooring or the tread. Very nice grey blue doors. And then you come up into the tower room. Yeah, lovely. And the ceiling here is beautiful. It's been very well executed. It is white. Lovely painting on the walls. Beautiful colour. Incredible. And then you've got a, another bathroom. Not too big, but just a shower. 
absolutely everything that you need. Again, I can see an air conditioning unit and another thermostat. And that is great because you've got thermostats in all the bedrooms. Okay, I'm going to get downstairs and we're going to go through the uh, credentials of this incredible house. I can't believe how hot it is. I wish I had shorts on today. Are you ready? Seven years restoration, love, care, and attention to detail. You just, there, there is not one thing that I can fault. Four bedrooms upstairs with four bathrooms, all kind of independent with their own thermostats. Lovely style, as I mentioned, the majority of the furniture can be purchased with this property. There are some personal effects that the owners would like to take away. We haven't done a full list yet, but we will do. And so basically, if you would like to have a look at that, just again, send me an email at info at abodeitaly.com. 200 olive trees. The swimming pool is 16.5 by 4.5. I said 17 by 5. There you have it. And it's about 1.4 meters deep. Um, this building was built in the 17th century and there are elements that date back to the 15th century as well. It's part of what used to be a noble estate from a family um, who I have met, a pleasure of meeting, um, and they have a huge stately home which has now recently been sold, which is just over there. Water in abundance, 100 meters, fantastic cypress trees, this tree around the corner. I mean, really, I would buy the house just for the tree, but you know, there's the wine cellar as well. What a find. Honestly, I just can't believe it. Um, it's got everything that you will need and more, absolutely more. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. What a house and the price. The price of this property, which is on the market today is 2,300,000 and they have had six viewings in the first week of it coming to the market. So if you are interested in buying a house 10 minutes from Cortona to this standard with this history and those trees and your private well and your private cellar, wine cellar, the details are in the description below. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. Thank you everybody who subscribed to this channel. You know how much it means to me. If you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. I hope you enjoy this. Until the next one, take care. Ciao.